try it again. There's, there we go. I know I'm live now. What's up, funky junk and sparkle lovers? Big project today. Hello, Lisa. What's going on, sister? How the heck are you? Happy? Feels like Monday, but I know it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hello, Nanette. What's up, guys? How is everyone? How was your Memorial Day yesterday? Hello, Shelly. I can see comments. I am live. Hello, Linda. What's going on, chickadees? Hi, Linda. Holy cannoli. I got a little bit of a headache right now, so if I seem crabby, excuse me. I got a little bit of sinus pressure. Hello, Janice and Kathy Lee. Hi, Tina. What's up? Did you guys have a great Memorial Day yesterday? Hello, Betty. Hi, Dot. Hello. What's up, Sparkle Sisters? Hi, Marianne. How is everyone? Hello, Donna. Wait for you guys to roll on in. Thank you guys for sparkling. Uh, the sparkle sign chick is buried behind all the wedding decor. You needed a break, Kim. I hear ya. Hello, Donna and Kathy and Mary. Hello. Hello, Connie. Thank you guys for sparkling. We had a great day yesterday. Uh, we ran around. Uh, we got some new couches for the living room and a new coffee table. Hi, Carol. Hello, Marge and Connie and Kelly. Um, then we went to my brother-in-law's uh, for a little barbecue, so that was really nice. Janice, have you got lots of rain in Texas? Thank you guys for the hearts. Hello, Dale. Um, hi, Karen. Yeah, we had a crazy day, but it was a good day. I, very rarely do I get to spend the entire day with my husband, so that was nice. Uh, Shell, I made these earrings just a few minutes ago, and I've got one more pair available. I'm going to be doing a little post. Um, do you guys want to see? I've been making jewelry because it just kind of like calms me down. And um, when I see sparkly things, I just make them. And forgive me, I lost a fingernail today when I was watering the, the plants. Hello, Peggy and Deborah. Hello, guys. Hi, Deborah. So, yeah, I got some really cute pairs of earrings. Um, I sold out of the queen bee necklaces. Oh, how nice, Kathy. Oh, my gosh, Lisa, was that not hilarious? Uh, Big Daddy, uh, I did a little story. Um, a Big Daddy uh, yesterday... Uh, token on a cigar so much so weird he does he's not a smoker so it's weird hello guys thank you for sparkling your brother lives on the highway in Barrie I'm not sure where Barrie is but sounds beautiful hello from South Carolina thank you yes yeah, so I made some earrings I've got about I don't know a whole bunch more pairs you guys want to see I'm going to do a post of these when I get off of here or later on today At some point uh, my husband's going to be here shortly and we have to vacuum the pool we had to get a new filter for the pool Hello, Deborah and Hazel. It is relaxing, so it's kind of what I do when I just need a break, and it's been so crazy with all the yard work going on for the wedding. Guys, it's been nuts, but is the yard not looking fabulous? Hello, Dawn and Noel and Pamela. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Karen. Thank you for spreading the sparkle. Uh, Janice, the earrings are going to be, all of them are going to be $20 with free shipping. And then I have one necklace that I made, but check these out. I'm going to go back and get more. Whenever I see blingy things, I just get them. But you guys are going to get a little sneak peek because I am going to be posting these. And that seems to be an easy way to do it. Whoever comments first gets them. <laughs> Big Daddy is hilarious. Hi, Janie. He's too funny, guys. So I've got these adorable ones. Look at those. Can you guys see? They're like a silver and gold, like a brassy gold, like a dull brass gold queen bee. Um, little uh, earrings. They're all on French hooks. Hi, Janet. He is such a hoot. Um, I was dressed up this morning. I had a meeting with my accountant, um, you know, to handle all that good funky junk and stuff. So, um, but it got warm out. It was really cold this morning. Robin, the stories are on, if you're on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. They're like the little boxes or the little circles you see at the top of Facebook and it has everybody's names. You click on them. They're like little stories. They last for 24 hours. Hi, Teresa and Carolyn. Thank you, Hazel. Hello, Claudia. So I've got those earrings. I've got a couple pairs of these ones that are really pretty. Look at how pretty those are. They're like uh, rose gold, but they got all kinds of like Aurora Borealis uh, sparkle. I've got two pairs of those. I've got one pair of these. I think I want to try to find more because these were really stinking pretty. Um, Look at how pretty those are. And you know, guys, they're all sparkly. So I got those. Those are like on a brass. 
And then I love these. I wish I could find more because these are like right up my alley. These are my color chicks. Hi, Morello. Hi, Rita. Hi, Molly. Um, look at how pretty those are. They're like a hot pink and yellow. Um, yeah, I might have to find more of these to make for myself because that's my color. And then I got one more pair of these cross ones. I think I'm going to keep these for my myself. But um, So yeah, I'm going to do a post with those. And then I do have one more necklace I made. I'm waiting for more queen bee uh, things to come in so I can make more queen bee necklaces. Um, but check out this necklace. I did it on like a antique brass. So on the next post, when I get off of here, by the end of today, I'm going to have a post up with all the jewelry. So you guys, make sure your notifications are on so you know. But look at how pretty this one is. I love it. And it's on a longer chain, but you can always like, you know, wrap it and give yourself like a nice long cross chain. I like the longer ones, but so pretty. Hello, Nicole. Oh my gosh, I know. He was cracking me up with that cigar. Thank you, Charlie. I was out working in the yard. I got a little bit of a headache. I had a nice sweater on that was gifted to me by the fabulous Bonnie Beaton, but um, uh, it got a little warm, so I took it off and I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to get it dirty. You were watching Totally Dazzle. We're going to do some Totally Dazzle today, guys. Uh, Amy, the wedding is at our current home right here. Yes. It's been a lot of work. But can I say, I got new couches. I got some new outdoor lights. Uh, the landscaping got a refreshed look, uh, courtesy of my father-in-law uh, over at s and Landscaping. Amazing uh, landscaper and landscape architect. So... We got really like a nice, it's going to be really beautiful. Uh, I know the crosses are, I don't know, an inch or two. I don't, I'm not sure. Hello, Betty. I love the cross necklace too. I mean, it's really pretty if you put it on. Um, you can always wrap this. It does have an extender. But so, so you can get it kind of longer or you can make it really long and then double wrap it around your neck. Kind of like a, you know, a layered look. So I love it too. So guys, be on the lookout for that. I was supposed to get my hair done yesterday, but I moved it because Michael needed me to go run around with him and pick out new furniture. And um, I could not, could not um, let him go and pick out couches by himself. I need to have something to do with Mike. That's awesome, Kim. You didn't get new furniture, I swear. Nobody's really going to be in our house, so, but um, we need new couches, so I guess it's all good. 30 degrees. Noel, where do you live on Saturday? It's supposed to be like in the upper. I checked the weather today for the wedding date in another 11 days is the wedding, guys. And uh, it said high of 79, low of 60. So I'm hoping that's, um, hoping that's how, we, how we do it. Christy, you need your crafting fix. I need my crafting fix. Um, hello, hello, hello. I have not, uh, well, I've been crafting, which you guys, which you guys know, you can see it, but um, I do have this um, Deborah Colvin at 90 Confer. I don't know what you guys talked about, but I know, because we can't leave our men to go pick up furniture, I swear. So anyhow, I've got this wooden butterfly. I did a post the other day with you guys. It's kind of big. I got it in a Hobby Lobby. Um, it's 19 by 24. So it's fairly large. And when I saw it, um, it was on, you know, it's 50% off. So I paid, uh, it was probably like 30 bucks, which it's a little more than what I would usually pay. But being that we're, you know, having a wedding here, I thought, oh, that would be really pretty with some florals on it. I agree, Robin. Hello, Renee. Hi, Cindy. 102 in Boise. Oh my word. I'm glad it's not going to be that hot. Hi, Brenda. For, um, if you don't have one, let me know. Um, I Kim, I don't know what you're talking about. I must've missed some comments, but I'll go back and watch the replay. Um, yes, it's been raining here a lot too. Um, Kathy, uh, you could just click Royal Funky Junk. Um, I am just going to, um, do a post, um, on Funky Junk with the pictures of the earrings and let you know how many I have left. And then you guys just comment under the picture and whoever I see, you know, comes in first is going to be the, the winner winner chicken dinner. And I'll just invoice you through PayPal. So hello, Jeanette and Julie and Corky. I am praying for nice weather too, Lorette. So anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you for all the sparkles. We got a whole bunch of peeps in the house right now. This is fantastic. So if you're having a wedding in your yard, you guys want to follow my page because I've got loads of stuff. See these candle opera things I picked up at the Goodwill. I painted them gold, and then I got these beautiful electric candles from Hobby Lobby, 
stick them in. They're going to get some batteries. I ordered batteries on Amazon. Hello, Peggy. Yay, Chris McGuire. You're finally you're, It's hard throwing a party. Hey, Shelly. So, yeah, I got the wedding ball back there. I got, we ordered a gate um, over our sidewalk with the gate uh, going into the pool area. Um, so we got that today. Um, that's going to go up. I'll, I'll probably do in a story and a post on that later because it's really, really pretty. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Fran. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to do this butterfly. Now, I got some flowers, okay? I got some burlap flowers. We're going to put some Totally Dazzled in the center of here. Um, for all my new followers, I'm a brand ambassador for Totally Dazzled, your number one supplier of all things blingy. And guys, product of the month right now, they're offering huge discounts. You can get the 100 pack for $100. It's a dollar a piece. And the pieces in the in the 100 pack are amazing. There's such an awesome variety in that pack. And it's usually 150 So guys, that's the product of the month. Um, they're having just an amazing sale right now. So make sure you go. You can. I forgot to drop the link for my website in here. I wonder if I could pin it. You can go to my website at www.royalfunky, I'm going to type it here, funkyjunk.net, and you can go over to my um, website right there and click on the main menu tab at the top and then click on the bling tab and it'll take you to my affiliate link through Totally Dazzled. And guys, you won't be disappointed. I put Totally Dazzled, if you're having a wedding, holy cannoli, I put Totally Dazzled and Diamond Dust on everything. Hello, Teresa. Yeah, so I got a couple of these and these were all like, I don't know, a buck 99 on clearance at Hobby Lobby um, and a bunch of like cream colored flowers, like little rosettes. I took them off the stems already and this is like a pale, pale pink, which is like the color of her wedding. Pick a seat. Not a sign. Yeah, so we have signs everywhere. We've got a welcome sign. We've also got a sign going right up by like the altar where they're getting married in the backyard that says, this is a camera free wedding. Uh, meaning no phones, no cameras. Uh, that's what we hired photographers for. And I get it because um, when I got married to Mike two years ago, um, as I was walking, we got married in an outdoor gazebo and I was walking up to up the sidewalk from the limo and all I saw was people standing in the aisle with their phones up. That's all I saw. I couldn't see Mike. He couldn't see me walking up the aisle and it was like the Red Sea parted, you know, as I got closer. So um, I wish I would have known that little hack. Hi, Delilah. Hi, Odelia. I wish I would have known that little hack when I got married because I definitely would have made it a uh, camera free ceremony because we did have a photographer. So, um, it just, you know, I wanted to see Mike's face as I was walking up and he, and you know, I have a picture of him like going like this because so many people were standing in the aisle in front of him with their cameras up. Yes, Kathy, they have these at Hobby Lobby. They're quite, kind of large. I only got two. Hi, Rebecca. Um, I only got two. So, um, anyway, this butterfly did come with like this metal looking thing on it and I was debating on whether or not to use this um, so I just kind of lifted up these flowers and I unscrewed it it just screwed into the butterfly um, you know like so and I just but those are gonna cover up flowers I wasn't sure if I wanted to, to use this or not but um, I decided to take it off what's up little girl that thing's huge and can I try making that into it again what thing is huge I know. Um, hi, Debbie. Hi, Chris. Hi, Marion. Yeah, it. You know, I mean, they were. They had the best of intentions getting pictures, but it was a bummer. I need you to ask Sam to help you with the mac and cheese, Maddie. Okay. okay Jack is sleeping. Um, did Gus go back in his cage? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> yeah, she just left. She's hungry. Maddie, ask Sam to help you. Okay. Okay. Exactly, Michelle. I'm telling you, um, if you know anybody getting married, have them get a sign. We've got a big sign that says, camera-free uh, wedding, uh, just for the ceremony. After that, it's all hands down. You know, we only have the photographer till like, I think 7.30 at sunset or 8 o'clock or something like that. And then she's going, and now it's going to be, you know, we'll all take great pictures. But um, yeah. So anyway, so I got those flowers. And I think what I want to do... I was debating on adding gold to this, but if this is going to be outside, I didn't want any risk of the gold leaf. Liquid gold is a little wonky. I know I wanted to diamond dust this, 
but um, you can't really put Mod Podge over wet gold leaf, it'll smear. So I'm just going to go ahead and diamond dust this entire butterfly. I even got these cute little things. Look at these little pearl-like things for like little antennas coming out of the top of the butterfly head. I think that'll be cute. So this is kind of big. I hope to God that y'all, that I'm gonna be able to fit yeah, everybody in here so we can see. But the butterfly came from Hobby Lobby. Yes, Deborah. Debbie, my oldest stepson is getting married here in two weeks at our house. So that's Maddie's mom is marrying my oldest stepson. So yeah, it's gonna be, we've got about 113 people. It will bleed red also. Yes, so I don't wanna do that, Kim. That's why I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and diamond dust, which I think it'll be fine because we're gonna have the flowers kind of filled up in the middle here. And then um, I got this cool thing, which Again, Hobby Lobby it was on clearance. I think it was a whopping $4.50. And my thought was, I might even just hang this from a tree. Um, and, you know, guys, I bought four hula hoops today at Target. Um, four hula hoops from Target. I'm going to spray paint them white, and I'm wrapping them in white Christmas twinkle lights. Um, and um, I figured I could maybe put this on some fishing wire and hang this from the tree with the hula hoops, and um, maybe I'll have to string some fairy lights around this. I don't know yet, but I just know. Thank you for the stars, Loretta. Um, uh, so yeah, Judy, you don't win them. I'm just gonna do a post with them, and then whoever claims them first is the winner. Hi, Debbie. Yes, the wedding is here, the reception is here. Um, that's why we've been converting our whole entire backyard. So I think I'm just going to have this either sitting on a tree, like, you know, nailed to a tree. Um, but the hula hoops are really only going to be visible during the day. Hello, Ron. Hello, Susan. Oh, Susan, it says, I don't know, trust your journey. I know my camera. I hate when I flip my camera. It is lots of work, Janice, but it's it's awesome. Like a mobile. Yeah, something like that. Exactly. Um so, I don't know, I just saw it, I thought it was pretty, and I thought, oh, and I wanted to take these. So this is like a garland of whatever, I don't know, I'm going to find the middle of it, and I was thinking, how cute would this be to hang it from the back, and then like have this, you know, just hanging in the back, trailing down. You know, just some fun, I was just going through the clearance aisles, I, I don't think this was on clearance, I think I actually did pay 30 bucks for that. So I think it'll be pretty, it'll add to the yard. Yeah, Debbie, my backyard screams wedding. It does now. So anyhow, that's what we're going to do. I am going to um, just take some Mod Podge, and I'm just going to probably do this, like each quarter of the wings first. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, I just see things. Feathers? Rule of feathers. I have some... I have some... Um, ostrich feathers laying around. Oh, you thought it was a T. Yeah, trust your journey. Um, so anyway, this is raised. It's kind of like these little inset panels, which that's what I was debating. I'm like, you know, do I make all those gold? But then I know I wanted, I, I knew for sure that I wanted this to be diamond dusted because, you know, life is better when it's diamond dusted. Um, so I'm just working with a really large fat brush and I'm sorry you guys are gonna see this is gonna be a little bit tricky because this is big this is like when I did that big reindeer do you guys remember that big Rudolph I made I was trying to diamond dust it on a live oh my word um, so anyway I got this all on here and make sure and I know you guys probably know because you've been following me for a while if you have been or if you're new if you're working with diamond dust um, you definitely want to apply your diamond dust while your Mod Podge is still wet and I always, um, oh no, I, oh that's the nail hole, so I'm not worried about that. And I'm just going to throw a layer on here. I put it on heavy because that's what I like. And it works uh, really good when you're using a shaker um, because you can get a lot more control of where you're applying your dust rather than scooping it out with your fingers and getting cut. So I am working on a piece of paper. I'm going to save this. 
and look at how pretty. Now it does, it, you know, it's gonna look cloudy at first, but seriously, you imagine that, like during the day, not so much at night. I wonder if there's a way I could figure out how to get lights on here. Would that not be cool? You should have a raffle for locals for the wedding venue. Oh, Kim, yes, Agnes. I just asked her to be a guest speaker in my private group, the Royal Sparkle Chicks, and she's agreed. We're just waiting to set a time. I thought she was lovely, Kim, so thank you for the shout out and the referral to watch her because now she's on my um she's on my radar and we were chatting last night i think she's a gem um so i'm just going and taking my my mod podge again and i'm just going over this and it is getting a little seepy you know like in these little grooves but i'm not worried i'm just trying to move my brush around all this mod podge is going to dry clear um, so I'm not worried too much about anything. I just want to make sure that I get um, that I get the whole thing covered, and then I'm just meeting right up to where I left off before, and then I'm shaking on more diamond dust. And then maybe I can add some gold around the edges, but you're never really going to see the edges, so I don't really think that's necessary. Um, and you guys can also find Diamond Dust on my website. Just hit the main menu at the top and then hit shop. And um, and you scroll down and you'll see a link for Diamond Dust. It's my Amazon affiliate. So look at how pretty. So see, we have half of it done. Oh, yes, it will catch the light with the hula hoops. Oh, my God, this is going to be so great. My whole backyard is going to be like a fairy haven. I'm, like, getting really, really excited. So look at how pretty that's going to be. Saving my diamond dust, guys. You don't want to get it all crappy because you can reuse it. Just shove it back in your shaker. So now I'm going to move on to this side. I think I'm going to need a little bit more diamond dust. There's clips. Yeah, you know what? I just got to look. I picked up a bunch of stuff today. I'm going to go outside when I get off of here. We have to clean the pool. I'm going to paint some hula hoops white and string some white lights around that and we're going to hang those from the trees i just don't know where um so next week is going to be crazy guys make sure you follow my stories um i was thinking about that delilah the diamond dust is it makes everything diamond dust and totally dazzled you can't beat it those two together go together like peanut butter and jelly chicks swear um so again, I'm just kind of going right up to where I met off. And because this is a light background, it's really forgiving. If there's a spot or you know that I missed, it's you're not really gonna see it. Um, this is so large. If somebody's looking at it that hard, then they can go pound salt. I think this is gonna be stunning. I'm trying, you know, Brittany's not like a real sparkly, sparkly kind of chick, but I am, and um I'm doing it very tastefully. It's not, it's not, you guys have seen what I've made so far. It's not chintzy or cheesy. I think it's really beautiful. All right, so we're getting this all on here. So yes, what I was saying is make sure you guys follow me. You can hit those three little dots in the top corner uh, for live notifications. Um, and then if you go to my page, Royal Funky Junk, you can check out my stories there. Oh, isn't it so stinking pretty? Um, hello, Lori. Um, my stories. The only way I can explain stories is that they're at the top of Facebook. You see everybody's names. I think on Facebook, they're little square blocks. Um, on Instagram, I'm on Instagram, Real Funky Junk, and they're like the little bubbles at the top that you click. Hello, Rhonda. And I just go through. I, I'm a more of a story watcher than, um, you know, I go through everybody's stories. That's how I find a lot of crafters, too, is watching stories. Um, so, um, and again, I'm just going right up to where I left off. And if I go over it a little bit and I get a little heavy, then that's okay. Um, but you just definitely want to make sure you get a nice, what are we at a drag racing strip? It sounds like big day on the race, racing chair. Did you guys hear that? This is such a dangerous road. It gives me anxiety when my kids pull out of our street. We have like a main road right out there. It's crazy. Um, 
All right, so we're just about done with the butterfly, and I'm going to be okay gluing these flowers on here. Um, all right, so guys that have kids still in school, are you guys uh, still in school? My son's last day um, was today and tomorrow, so exciting. I am so glad I get to sleep in. Um, yes, I don't even know how to tag somebody in stories. Does anybody know how? They could tell Debbie how to find stories that's, like, not Chinese. Look at that, guys. Look at how stinking pretty. Now, it's still wet, but um, I am going to... Give me one second. I do not... I'm going to set that up. I want to pick up my stuff, and I want to pour it back into my jar. That's what I was thinking, too, Ruth. I could add fairy lights. I do have fairy lights. Um, make sure when you put your diamond dust back into your jar that it's not polluted with any kind of junk. You know, look at all that diamond dust I just saved. See, that would be a shame to waste all that. You're not late, Christina, and sorry about the ads, but they do help, help me out. And I know you can uh, turn them off, but, you know, it's a nice little perk from Facebook. Um... And it really helps us crafters keep doing what we're doing because, you know, believe it or not, this stuff does cost money. <laughs> and uh, and I love to be able to share with everyone. So um, I watch a lot of crafters. Most of the crafters I watch uh, definitely have ads. And I just, you know, got to be patient. Um, so we have that. And look at how pretty that's coming along. You can still see those holes. You made a paper funnel. That's a good idea, too. Thank you guys for the stars. Thank you, Melody. Um, I did miss some comments. Hello from Georgia. Hi, Chris. Oh, Lori, first granddaughter's birthday is Thursday. Thursday. Just post a screenshot on your post of Facebook. I will. I'll figure out something, Debbie. I'll, I'll get it to you. I'll make it work. Um, I'll get you the stories, because that's where I do a lot of stories is over there about the yard transformation. Stories only last about 24 hours, so um, anyhow. Yes, thankfully the ads are only 15 seconds. If they were like a minute long, and even when I'm watching crafters, I still stick through it because um, I like my crafters. Um, no, I made these earrings, um, Diane. I'm going to be doing a post at some point today, so make sure you hit that follow button, and I'm going to be uh, posting some other earrings and stuff that I made. I just answered the girl. Thank you, Delilah. Uh, Charlotte, I got the um, Butterfly Hobby Lobby. Daughter in law, okay. Yes, Debbie, she is. Even though she's not like a real blingy sparkle chick, she's loving it all. It's going to be amazing. I mean, seriously, it's going to be really a stunning wedding. I love Diamond Dust too. So the Butterfly Delia came from Hobby Lobby. It was in the. Um, it was in the. Uh, spring you know spring area spring shop and it was 50 percent off all right so we got this all diamond dusted it's going to take a hot minute to dry but i'm going to go ahead um it does look beautiful the diamond dust um deborah I, maybe i'll do a post of everybody on how to find stories um but they're definitely there. They're, and if you and if you're on Instagram, just head on over to Royal Funky Junk at, on Instagram, and then just it's like the little. And if you are on my main page, if you go to my main page, um, and you scroll down, look for the little circle with my face. It's like that's my profile pic. And if you if it has a blue circle around it, then there's a story to be seen. You click on that little blue circle, and and it'll the story will pop up. And if you just tap. Tap, tap. They're only 15 seconds long. So each story is 15 seconds. Um, and so you can watch. It's, it's, and you can run like four of them together. Um, I know. I'm so excited for the wedding. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take um, my butterfly. And what I want to do is I want to place these big burlap um, flowers first. Oh, and you know what? I do have to text one person back. I'm going to get hate mail for this, but oh well. Um yes okay um i'm gonna take this and i think i had it kind of mapped out before and i did take a picture of it um a world globe 
Oh, you're gonna love that. Don't you love it, Lori? It's addicting. You will be diamond dusting everything in your house. If you have Facebook stories, are always on the top of the main page. Okay, good. Those little story bows don't show much. Hello, Michelle. Yeah, they, they don't show much, but it's just like a, a cute little thing. But, you know, you do like 20 of them a day, and it kind of adds up. Hi, Vicki. Yes, I can see your comments. What about diamond dusting those candles back there? I could do those too, Amory. That's a great idea. My daughter-in-laws are like, yes, I know it. We're very, um, uh, I, my sister Debbie is the craft I buy that's awesome. All right. I'm going to keep moving along here. Um, we're all getting yelled at. Everybody yells at me when I talk too much. So anyway, what I want to do is I want to take just like these, I think up here, just like that. We're going to throw some Totally Dazzled Bling in there. Okay. Gus Gus is in the house. Hold on. Let me lift you up. <gasps> Hi, puppy. Mm, get up work early. Oh, well, then. Maddie had him out. He was eating before. I just let him out and I'm going to go tan. Oh, good. Okay. Um, what you're not going to see those holes, the diamond dust actually did a really good job of um, uh, putting them in, and uh, and I'm going to have flowers all around, so you're never even going to see the holes, which is brilliant. Hi, Susie. All right, so you like the chatting, good, because our house is nonstop, busy, busy. So, um, yeah, so, and then I'll get this in the tree. I'm not going to put this out till the day of the wedding. Uh, Gus is adorable. He's lucky he's so damn cute. So I'm just going to take a boatload of hot glue and I'm just going to uh, slap it on there any which way and just hold that down. And I'm just trying to, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want a little bit of, you know, softness. You were having nightmares, Delia. I was probably a wedding planner in my past life. I swear to God, I love this stuff. Anything that's sparkly, um, it totally is right up my alley. So I'm having a blast with it. And now my husband decides last night, maybe because he was toking on his cigar and <laughs> drinking a, a, a vodka tonic, he wants to have he wants to have a Fourth of July party in July not six weeks after the wedding. So we might be having another big party here. And that's for, you know, that'll be crazy. Last year we had one, we, we had about 110 people. So it'll be another big party. And then uh, when we got married, we had our like, we had a small wedding and then like a reception um, here. Um, Fourth of July party. My husband loves to play with fireworks, all that stuff. Cigars, Kim, I, you know what? I, I, I don't like cigars. But they were smoking it outside, so it wasn't bad. We are having a cigar bar at the wedding. Um, thank you, Shelly. Welcome. We have a new sparkle chick in the house. Yes, Kim, I'm going to be going live from the wedding. Um, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, so I'm going to be going live from the wedding. I'm going to do lots of, and in fact, maybe later on today, guys, do you guys want a tour of my yard? I mean, I'll get on live. I was in my private group yesterday, the Royal Sparkle Chicks, and I gave them a first-hand view. They saw it all yesterday. So if you guys want, I'll give you an outside house tour of the yard so far. And then days leading up to the wedding, when it's all said and done, I'll be, I'll be going live with you guys a lot to show you. Of course, we're going to put some bling in here. Yeah, so Rhonda, I have a ton of 4th of July pr uh, crafts already because I we have big 4th of July parties every year. Um, so, uh, but yeah, definitely. I haven't, I saw some today in Hobby Lobby and I'm like, I can't even look at it. I can't even, I can't even go there right now because my brain is in full blown, um, wedding mode. So I'm just looking for some totally dazzled bling. Should I keep them same or the different? All right, you guys got it. Let's do it. Um, two different bling or should I keep them the same? What do y'all think? I kind of like the idea of... Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I have another one. My totally dazzled stock is getting a little low. Um, I just... 
ordered some more stuff, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. I do have one here with the pearl. Made the cigars on site, Sandy, my husband, or my stepson would love that. That's so awesome. All right, so let me see. Or should I do two bright stuff? I don't like that one. I kind of dig in. Um, hold on, wait. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna do these two. They kind of look like flowers, and they have a little bit of an edge to them. All right, so these are on here. I'm just uh, wholly dazzled. Uh, most of them come with like, a thing on the back. It's a pin. Um, I just grab my pliers and I peel it off, pick it right off. Um, there we go, so now it's nice and flat. Do they let you guys have fireworks in your state? Yes, Lori. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, I think so. I think the law is you just can't. I know they buy them here. I'm not sure. Hi, Devra. Hi, Regina. Yeah, I'm not really sure the how that goes. But my husband's been doing this a long time. And, uh. And uh, and we don't. I know we don't have a noise ordinance, but I am going to be doing a post on my street Facebook page, um, saying um, on June twelfth we're having a party, a wedding. Um, the last time we had a party, uh, somebody called the police on us. It was like eleven o'clock, and we weren't being obnoxious. I mean, we're respectful, but we had music playing and people were dancing on the patio. So I'm just going to do a post on the our street Facebook page and be like. Just so y'all know, we're having a wedding. We have a curfew in New York, at least. Oh, really? Hi, Patty. Hi, Haley. Linda, you just ordered bling. You're going to love it. It's like amazing. Totally dazzled. You can't beat it. You can find a link over on my, um, on my, on my website. So now I'm going to take these, and I think like what I did before is I just kind of did and I'll, I'll show you guys, and I'm being a camera hog. Mona, I'm making a little, a large butterfly that we diamond dusted. It's going to hang in the tree at my stepson's wedding. So I guess I could spin this around for you guys so you could see it here. And what I'm thinking about doing is just like tucking in these flowers, you know, kind of just going around. I don't want that on there. Um, and they're nice and flat, which works great. And, you know, if I just... You know, something like that. I've got a bunch of them like that. Plus, I've got some, um, let me see what that looks like. No, I don't like that. All right, so I think I'm just gonna play around with it. Let me see. And then I've also got, you know, this stuff. I've got some of this stuff here. It's like white fluffy stuff. Um, and I've got some of this lambs here because this is definitely in her wedding, this, this soft green. Um, so I want to keep it, you know, maybe something like that with some of these fluffy white things and then maybe take some of these leaves and just stick them back here. So what do you guys think about that? Um, let's see. And I can just, I just don't want to make it look, too, I don't want to cover up too much of the butterfly. Or should I like cluster them more in the middle? All y'all are in one of those home stations. No, thankfully we're not, Hazel. My husband would go bonkers to the wall if we were. No. Um, he can't stand neighbors enough as it is. He wants to be like on acres somewhere. He wants, he wants to be in the middle of nowhere. All right, so I think I'm just going to, and then maybe we could take some of these and stick them down here, but we're going to have that long thing down here. I just have to find the right, the right amount of florals, which I don't like that either. I'm kind of just digging just a little loopy around it. Maybe like one, I'm trying to look at the picture that I took before, um, like that. But I don't want it to look weird. 
Let's see. Unless I put some flowers over here just to make that look more even. Maybe that's what I should do. Just not make them such in a line. You just gotta keep playing around with it till you till you get it where you want it. You know, I do have a couple more. You need to live like it in the middle of a field. Exactly, Kim, that's what we want. Yeah, so I'm just kind of placing my flowers. I don't know really where I want them. I don't want it to be bunchy, but I'm thinking maybe they need to go sporadically and then I'll fill it in. So I kind of like that. Um, I don't know if I had one more pink flower. Okay, I think this works good. I kind of like it. Then I'll add on that green, the little green leaf. So all I'm gonna do guys is take, make sure these are flat. I'm gonna take that little nub off the bottom because I want these to be really flat. And I am using my favorite Sherbunder glue. And how pretty is that? I'm just kind of sticking them out however which way. Exactly, and that's what I like. You know, um, I love my neighborhood here, but I, I, you know, I would, I would probably be happier a little somewhere. Um, I like land too. I, I, you know what? We have a major freeway running through our backyard. We have three acres, but you can hear the freeway at night or all day long, and I hide it. Um. And I hate it, so I have like nine million wind chimes like all over my yard to try to drown out the sound of the freeway. And it, it doesn't work as well as I, I was hoping it would, but you know, a girl can hope. And I just keep buying more wind chimes. So I have that going for me. Use odd numbers of flows for five to seven for balance. I use Sherbonder glue. Do you have diamond dust? On the rip probably probably but yes maybe I should do that one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah maybe that looks a little better with like more on the sides I can always maybe put this one over here or up here kind of like it over there see good advice my chicks know I know Chris Hunter is another one that likes odd numbers but in decorating, I mean, it does make more sense. I like to decorate with things in threes, like vignettes and whatnot. And I want to show you guys this glue stick that I have. Um, seriously, look at it. It was literally five feet long when I bought it. It is thebomb.com. If you don't have it, um, get it. You don't have, I haven't replaced the glue stick in God knows how long, and it's amazing. It is the greatest, ouch, Ow, ow, damn it. I just totally burnt my finger. That was hot. That's gonna be ugly. Um, yeah, all right, so I must have stuck my finger in glue. I don't know where it came from, but. All right, so I got these on. I think this looks really pretty. So now I wanna add in some of that green, and I love these colors. I'm not gonna diamond dust the flowers. Um, so it's kind of pretty, a little different. Now I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in, uh, Lisa, I get the Sherbonder glue, oh, that hurts, at um, Hobby Lobby, and it comes in a big roll. Did number what designers use? Yes, I think this is gonna be really pretty. So now I wanna take some of these little lamb's ear, and I'm just gonna kinda tuck them and just see where I like them and then we'll go and, and glue them. Well, this one is actually like a two one. I think you can just pop them off. Oh, I think this is gonna be really pretty. I'm so glad that I bought this little thing. Oh yes, this looks so stinking cute. Okay, I got it going on chicks. Oh, this is pretty. And then I've got this other fluffy stuff, too, I can add in. You need another light one on your left. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, you know what, maybe. But I've got this stuff I'll add in over there. I don't think I have another white flower left. But I do have some more of that. 
Okay, I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna glue these down, try not to burn myself too bad. I'm just sticking it in there. This one's on one, just a ton of glue. I'll have lots of glue strings, but that's okay. Um, my gosh. Yeah, I'll worry about the glue strings later. I could see a bunch of them, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Just trying to get this on here. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself when this wedding is over. Isn't that funny? What am I gonna what am I gonna create? We're gonna have to it's gonna be fourth of July, I'm thinking. Alright, so that looks really pretty. These are all the colors that are in the wedding. My mom sold is that oh yeah. Did a flower fall? No. A flower did not fall. I might have one underneath here, but no, I think I got them all. But I am gonna add, now I wanna add more of the green. Hold on, look at how pretty this looks. See that green just kinda ties it all together? Now I'm gonna add some to the, um, the other side. When it comes to it, you're uh, thank you, Jojo. Oh, and oh, yeah, I pulled off. Oh God, were you guys on that live that I did? I, I got glue here and then I went like this and literally my skin came off. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Stick a little lamb's ear. Here's a little tiny one. I could do that like right in here, like that. Great idea. See, this is why I like crafting with y'all. I wish y'all could come to the wedding. Wouldn't that be so much fun? What a hoot and a half we'd all have, right? I would never want you guys to leave. <laughs> all right, so now I'm just gonna do it again. I'm gonna place these around here and then just see where I like them. The greenery does make it pop and I wanted to incorporate you no know, colors that were in the wedding so I'm glad that I found these little things. And again, all this, all of this came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I was just scrolling the aisles. Um, and I think these were $1.99 and I think they were on clearance. Or not clearance, but you know, they were on sale. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue like so. I'll worry about them glue strings later. I burnt myself again. Try not to burn myself too bad. All right. See how great this this glue glue stick that five foot glue stick, seriously, it makes your life so much easier when you're working on a big craft. You don't have to worry about running out of glue because, and there goes my glue gun on the floor. That's what fell on the floor, Lisa. My glue gun fell on the floor. Um, it's a little wonky at first and it's a little heavy. Um, could you imagine all your sparkle chicks with crowns on? Oh my God, we would have a hoot. I think we need to have like a sparkle conference though, don't you guys think? I think I need to set up some kind of sparkle conference. How much fun would that be? We'd all get together. Something helping you looked it up the first time. Oh, I'll go look, Missy. Let me see. I don't think it's anything too bad. And I do want to take that little tiny topper piece and I think I want to stick that right down in there. I don't know if I lost anything too pertinent. There's my glue gun again. That's the whole trick of that long glue gun. It's like a little, it gets a little heavy. All right, so we would have an amazing time, wouldn't we? Wouldn't we? She finally bans me. Oh, Tina, that's hilarious. 
How about a big piece of blank? Well, Rosetta, I've got something else I'm going to try first, but I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I really think this came out better than what I, what I envisioned. Oh, hold on. I got lots and lots of glue strings, but that's all right. It's so stinking pretty. I'm thinking the only thing that I might do is I might diamond dust the leaves. What do you guys think? Carolyn, the wedding is coming up. I'm creating for the wedding. The wedding is on June 12th, so we're not done yet, sister. I think I'm going to diamond dust these leaves. What do you guys think? Who's with me on that? I think it's calling for some diamond dust on the leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. My glue gun falls all the time. So all I'm going to do, I'm not going to be real picky. I'm just going to kind of like throw some Mod Podge on there. I'm not going to like, you know, give it a whole, you know, big, big, big coat. I'm just trying to make it stick here and there. Just add some sparkle and of course my diamond dust. Well, my Mod Podge is drying. So I just want to get some on there. I think that'll add a nice little, it'll soften up that green a little bit. That's when we guess dust the leaves. So let's see what that looks like. Let's see if it even sticks. Ouch, and I just got a diamond dust splinter. So see, guys, you have to be careful. It, it is like almost like splinter. Now, they're looking a little cloudy right now. That's all gonna dry clear. So I'm not really, um, you're not gonna probably really be able to tell too much until that Mod Podge dries and Mod Podge is going to take a little bit longer to dry since it's on these little fabric-y leaves, but it's going to be well worth it. I think it's going to be pretty. It's going to look wonky at first until they dry, but trust me, chicks, they will all dry. I hope you guys can see me. And again, see, I'm just kind of going, I'm just smearing some on. I'm not being too perfect about it. Wherever it sticks, it sticks. Just throwing some on there. And then I'm going to do all these first and then I'll shake it off at the end. So see, just pouring that right on there. Somebody asked me the other day if I diamond dusted my jeans. Um, that's something you definitely don't ever want to do. I would not suggest that. So if you're listening and questioning that, don't do it. I think that would hurt. All right, so now I'm just gonna jump over here and do these leaves over on this side. I hope you all can see me. All right, so we're gonna jump over here and diamond dust all these little leaves. Just doing the lambs here. I'm not gonna do the, the roses. I want there to be, I want there to be some contrast, you know, so we're just throwing this on there. A couple more. And again, I'm trying to work quick because this is going on these fuzzy fabric-y leaves and I don't want it to start drying before I apply that diamond dust. Okay. All right, so it's gonna look a little wonky, guys. Um, oops, I dropped a little thing of Mod Podge there, so no worries, you just take your diamond dust and go back over it so you don't have a big white mark of diamond dust. Now see, those are gonna dry clear. See those, um, you see how that looks right now, those, those leaves? Trust me, that will dry clear and they'll look just as pretty, it'll just be, my God, it looks so stinking pretty from the camera. Baby's breath is a good idea too, Michelle. Um, but I also had these little things. I don't know if these would work or not. Let's see. So we could tuck this underneath there. Oh, I kind of like it. I'm going for it. They're just like these fuzzy things. I don't know. They're just like soft and fuzzy looking. I just want them enough to where, I want you to be able to tell that this is a butterfly. Um, I did get a couple of these, so maybe we could tuck these just coming out 
like that. Let me pull some off and figure out where I like them. I could just add a bunch. And they just kind of... Mm, I'm not sure about that one up there. Can you guys see? See how they just kind of create like a little soft, almost like feathery. A feathery look. Somebody mentioned feathers. This definitely gives it that feathery appeal. What do you guys think about that? See how they just kind of, I like it, so I'm doing it. As Debbie Riggs says, it's my TV show, right? It's my party, I can dust if I want to. Don't forget the middle lamb's ear. Oh, that's right, you're awesome. I totally forgot. Let me stick these down in there first. Make sure they're all in there good. I want them to not fall out. Where's my little brush? Yes, I almost forgot those little bad boys. All right, so we're going to take our diamond dust here. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Oops, I haven't that, have that one glued down yet. So... Some glue there. Oh, I like those little fuzzy looking things. Okay, that's in there. I did not glue this one. How stinking pretty is this gonna be, chicks? Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Feathers with a fias. Um I love it. I still got to do the other little, the ones over here at this bottom one. We don't want to forget any of that. That would be weird. So yes, I promise you all this lamb's ear, this all this Mod Podge will dry really nicely. I've done fabric coated flowers before. It just takes a little bit longer for that Mod Podge to dry. Okay. Oh my word, I'm loving it. Okay, so... This is so soft and pretty, guys. It's really stinking pretty. Um, yeah, I love it. All right, so now i got to get my other little bundle. These also came from Hobby Lobby. But see how they look? They're like just little fuzzy things. It does add romance to it. Oops, I don't want that one. I want one of these. So now I'm just going to do, I'm going to do my placement first and just see where I like them at. Um, just creates some more dimension. It is gorgeous. Um, I'm loving it. One over here. I'm thinking maybe this one right here. No, I definitely like that one there. And then maybe, oh, I hear Big Daddy's truck. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay, I like it. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. I'm just gonna use them all. You know, you get it on there and you don't like it, you can pull them out. Um, but I think it's gonna be really pretty. And um, I think she's gonna love it. Brittany has not seen this one yet, so. Um, and then, guys, I'm like super, super stinking excited <laughs> for those hula hoops. How many butterflies are you having there? Just this one, Charlotte. Um, Got some hula hoop lights going up. I just got different elements. I see things and I think they look pretty and you know, I just want to incorporate it. And so it's not like a butterfly themed wedding or anything like that. I just saw this and I thought that is so pretty. Um, you know, and this is something, it doesn't really go with my home, but this is totally something that I could, you know, Maddie could take home with her and hang it in her bedroom. How about the long white flowers for antennas? Got that. Hold on. Let me uh, show you what I got next. Show you this. Make sure everything is stuck down in there. I love this so far. Um, just get some of the glue strings out of the way. Um, yeah, I got a bunch. I'll have to hit it with my hair dryer and get rid of those bad boys. Um, but seriously, oh my word, look at how pretty. That lamb's ear comes off as a little blue in the camera, I think, but oh my God, this is gonna be stunning. This is definitely something that Maddie could put in her yard. Um, 
put two. I I got it. Hold on. Where'd it go? I got. I picked up these little things from Hobby Lobby. Also, they're like little pearls. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to put these um, as the antennas. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's going to be a weird looking butterfly because I think what I'm going to do is use one of these little things. Or should I just do two like that? Or should I do like two groups of three? Let's see. Then he'll be a weird butterfly. No, he's got to have two. All right, so I'm going to cut this little middle thing off. Bling beads or wire for antenna. Got it. So I'm just going to cut that out. So see how I have this? I just made it like that. How cute. It's little beads. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind him. All right. So I'm going to gently flip this over. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue these to the back. Just like that. Let that stick and just, I need my little finger protector. I'm just going to hold that down there and hope to God that will stay. That's going to be a bit tricky, but I think I can make it work. Hold on. You just got to get it long enough. Darn it. It's just got to sit there. What I should do is I'll probably end up putting like a piece of tape or a piece of fabric over that once it gets nice and dry. But I just want to hold that down in that glue just like that. Actually up a little bit higher. So now he's going to have, you know, little pearlized blingy beads. Long antennas. You know, you're never really going to see the antennas though, to be honest with you. Um, it's not so much about the little antennas. I, mean, I think it's adorable. Hold on. See what I mean? You don't really, I mean, it's just, it's cute. And it's more about everything else. So I'm not too worried about, it. I could add more. Um, but I like it. So the last thing we're gonna do is I have this long streamer, which this is what I'm really excited for. This I got this at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to find the center. And it's like creams and whites. Now this is gonna be tricky. I might actually end up, you know what I might end up doing, chicks? I think I'm gonna end up, I could probably staple gun this. right to here. So let me go grab my staple gun. And hopefully I don't jack up anything in the long run. But even if the staple comes through, you're never going to see it because it's up here. Well, of course it doesn't want to go through, but it's on there. Let's see, how does that look? Let me, hold on, I gotta hold you up. Look, I think it needs to go up higher, the, the stuff. So yeah, let me take this out. I think it's gotta go a little bit higher. And yes, this is really tough wood. It did not even wanna take my staple. I don't wanna press too hard on it because I don't want it to really, I think I'm gonna put it up here and see if I can make it work. Oh my God, I think it looks so pretty. What do you guys think? I think it came out lovely. Yeah, it just looks like a long streamer. And see, I like the way that it flows. What do you guys think about that? Put fairy lights in its tail. I do have fairy lights, but see how stinking pretty that's gonna be? I think it's gorgeous. 
Yep. I don't know where I'm going to hang this. If it's going to be free hanging or if it's going, um, you think, even higher? Well, here's the thing. What I'm going to do, now that I've got this stapled in there, I wonder if I can hammer it in. It needs to be hammered in just a little bit. Hang on a second, Chickadee. Let me see. So now that I got that, I made that flat, what I want to do is kind of just take this part here, yes, and I want to just kind of glue those down just to press them. Who is that? Me. What's up, little Chica Majika? Uh, they home yet. No, I don't believe so. Can I ask Mr. Jamie if they are? You can go out there and ask. I'm sure you can. All right, so I'm just going to hold these here. This is going to give that a little bit more security, I think, just here. And it should make them a little bit less likely to move around from the top. You know? So I'm just, oop, I don't want that. Darn it. So I'm just kind of holding that down there just for my glue to dry. Just want that to sit in that glue. So I'm going to sit here for a minute and press that in there. Okay. But I love the streamers. You can even add some like little crystals to those streamers. I think it's gorgeous too. I like it. How it's a spray glitter on the stream. That's a good idea too, Debbie. Or we can add some like little crystals. Um, where's that little? paintbrush I have. I'm sticking to everything now. Yeah. Just want to make sure. I think that will just give it a little bit more security. The, what's it called? The nail, the staple is just hanging it. You know, it's holding that in there. The wedding, Sandra, is in two weeks, June 12th. Hi, Sarah. All right. So I've got that. My glue is still wet. Come on, glue. I don't want to move it until it's actually starting to gel. All right. Yep, and these are a little heavy, so it's going to take a minute for that to set. But I don't want to move my hands because that's what's pushing weight on it. I'm keeping it down in there while that glue gets nice and dry. Oops, there it's starting to gel now. So what do you guys think? Did you like it? Yeah, I could, that's what I was thinking, I, or like a popsicle stick and just glue that on there. I don't think I have a popsicle stick up here, but I think I have some downstairs, um, or Carly has some in here, but yeah, definitely something like that just to put over this, which you guys aren't even seeing what I'm doing. Um, so see, I'm just holding that on there, waiting for that glue to bond. Here's the staple right here. You want to be virtually invited. I am, um, I'm definitely going to be going live. Hi, Nikki. She, we have a new sparkle chick in the house. Welcome, Nikki. You need something like this on my bathroom wall? June 12th is your birthday. It's awesome. Here we go. Okay, so now we got this all done. Now, the lamb's ear, the lamb's ear still has to dry. Um, it's still a little cloudy where the Mod Podge is, but um, all this white crumbly stuff, that will dry clear. Um, where that Mod Podge adheres that on there. So I'm not really gonna worry too much about this, but seriously, oh my word. I gotta stand up so you guys get the whole visual. Look at how pretty. Imagine that hanging in the yard on wedding day. Um, so sparkly, up close. Diamond dust, totally dazzled bling. It's gorgeous, I'm excited. Um, almost like a little wind chime, a little wind chime. This thing is as big as my body. Hi, Lily. Yes, I love it too. So there we have it, chicks. Um, and again, the reason I, I, I was thinking about adding some gold into the butterfly, you know, here, but the reason that I did not is because I wanted to diamond dust and you can't, it's hard to diamond dust over gold leaf. 
I wouldn't have been able to do it. It would have been like a two-step process. And even then, um, you risk a chance of that uh, bleeding. So anyhow, that's it, chicks. I think it turned out amazing. I'm going to let this dry now. Um, and then wait for all the little... See, on this one, it's starting to dry already. You can kind of tell. So see this one? See? That's almost dry, but look at that. That's what all these will look like. Just perfectly clear. You'll never know that they had that. And this one's getting there too, a little bit. So see, you don't need a lot. But see guys, stuff like this, this is how you can take a wedding on a budget. It was a flower, Missy, you think? I don't, I don't think so. Here's a leaf. But it doesn't have glue on it. So I don't know what it was. I think everything's on here. So if not, it is what it is. This is how it's saying. You had your doubts in the beginning, Margaret. Well, I hope I did you proud and that you love it now because I think it came out amazing. Maddie, you like this for the wedding? It's going to hang the tree. Wow. Yeah, she's excited too. I think it's stunning. It's going to Ouch. Mom's the last day of school. Thank God. It's Jennifer Anderson's twin. <laughs> That's too funny. I get that a lot. Um, yeah, so Kimberly, um, you take, yes, take the one leaf away from the, its head. Take, oh. Maybe I just need to put a, hold on. Like that, I just ripped it out. It does look a little bit better, yeah. I think you're right. It was just, I can probably even move this one over a little bit if I wanted it to look like that. There we go. See? Yeah, that looks better. It was a little bit too convoluted over there. Um, are you going to diamond dust? I don't think so, Diane. Um, I don't think so. I think it's got enough on there. I kind of like the contrast to get some bling. I got the leaves diamond dusted, maybe, but I don't think so. Um, I think she'll love it too, and um, the leaf is what fell. Well, all the leaves are on here, so I don't know. We're all good. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. So anyway, guys, this is what I'm saying. Um, you can have a gorgeous wedding but do it on a budget. It does, Allison, I agree. So, um, yeah, I love how it turned out. Simply stunning. The only thing that I think I might, I don't even do that. I was thinking about painting the edging gold, but you're never gonna see it. Where she lights for the festivities. Oh, Phoebe, I will definitely show you. And uh, later on, I'm gonna come on tonight. I'm gonna come on later today, probably maybe in an hour or so after dinner. And um, I'm going to give you guys, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you guys a tour of my, of the yard so far that's getting ready, wedding ready. It's not done yet, but um, I did show my private group last night. So you guys need to be seen. You guys need a sneak peek too of everything that we've got going on. So I'm going to hang up here and um, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this and post it. I got to take, I got some paperwork to do. And then definitely tonight before the sun goes out, I'll be live back again for all of you that want to get um, a little sneak peek tour as we get ready. It I did get the garland at Hobby Lobby too, Linda. Yes. What's it's that? hardly anything in the yard yet. Just the pool stuff and the chairs and the table. It's coming together. But like the chairs and the side of the tree. But did you see the landscaping? Yes. That's what we worked our heinies off of over the weekend. Yeah, and this is going to be around like the hula hoop area. So there'll be a lot of twinkle lights, you know, or Christmassy lights that will really reflect, um, that will really reflect. Um, what are you using those hula hoops for? Wait till you see. I yep. So anyway, know. all right, chickadees, it was wonderful hanging out with you. So pretty. Yes, it looks so good. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be. I'll be live later on, guys. I'm gonna come on and give you a little sneak peek in my yard. And um, you guys have an awesome night. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sparkling. Thank you for 
the stars and thank you for being a sparkle chick and going on this journey with me. I will see you guys in a later on today. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye. Good night. See you later. <laughs> Not yet. Not goodbye yet. See you later.